Rack pulls target the entire posterior chain, or the muscles along the backside of your spine and legs. This includes your glutes, hamstrings, and various back muscles along your spine, such as your trapezius, lats, and erector spinae. Rack pulls can also be a great intermediate exercise before pulling off the ground by gradually increasing the distance that you move the barbell. Conventional deadlifts do require some mobility in the ankles, hips, and thoracic spine. So if you're lacking some of that prerequisite flexibility to pull off of the ground, say you're rounding your back because you have stiff ankles or tight hamstrings and are cautious about your back, then this might be a good place to start. Rack pulls can also be a great accessory exercise that might help to improve some of your strength upon lockout or finishing the top half of your deadlift. Exercise technique for the rack pull. Start with the barbell just below your knees and progress down to the mid shin as your technique improves. To determine your stance, start with your feet shoulder width apart and just make adjustments over time based off of where you feel the most comfortable. Start by positioning the barbell right over your midfoot. Stick your butt back, hip hinging until you can grip the barbell. Once you grab the barbell, make sure your grip is as close as possible without actually allowing your knees to cave inward throughout the lift because of your arms being in the way. Your shoulders are gonna be roughly over the mid bar before starting or over the bar before starting. Inhale and brace. Pull your shoulders back and act as if you're squeezing lemons under your armpits to help engage your lats. Brace your core as if someone's about to punch you in the stomach and try to maintain that throughout the movement. From there, squeeze your glutes to drive your hips forward, maintaining a flat back the entire time until you're standing upright, still with your core braced. Return the bar back to the pins as if you're simply rewinding the movement. Common mistakes in the rack pull. One common mistake in the rack pull is bending your knees excessively or squatting the bar, which can reduce your leverage by having the bar further away from the fulcrum of the movement, which is your hips, and can also place additional stress on your back that can increase the risk for injury. Starting with the bar too far away can also cause similar problems. For both errors, just make sure to hinge back your hips enough that your shins are fairly vertical and the barbell starts right over your midfoot. Another common error is rounding your back. Rounding your back can place a lot of additional stress on the spine and increase your risk of injuring your low back. A lot of injuries that occur with the deadlift do occur because of either rounding of the back or excessive arching of the back. For both, be sure to maintain a neutral spine and move solely through the hips with your core braced throughout the movement. The last compensation we'll talk about is the knees caving inward or a knee valgus, which places stress on the ligaments inside your knee. This might occur because of using a grip too narrow. Position your hip, your um, hands right outside of your knees or enough to be able to push your knees outward.